Welcome my friends to Farming Simulator 19 on Honeydew Farms Excel. A new exciting and giant map, actually 4x in size as I like. We start this season by investing in placing, in building our farm, I'm placing a number of uh, buildings and we're still extending our vehicle park. As I said last time, I set for myself as a rule to buy only uh, small and medium sized vehicles so that I have where to expand. The last time, if you remember, we feed our cows just with grass. That's because we didn't have any uh, silage to mix it with. So uh, today I'm going to load all this um, grass, dump it into our silage pit and make ourselves some silage. In the meantime, our one of our three trusty tractors is still uh, doing the plowing on the first and the only field that we still own. And once it will finish, we'll start seeding and planting and do what farmers usually do. And voila, the plowing is finished. Now it's time to start the planting. I guess we'll start with the planting to make ourselves some, to grow ourselves some corn because corn amounts for 50% of effectiveness of uh, reproduction of pigs. We will use this uh, seed and fertilizer stations which are very very handy I'm actually so glad that uh, they were created. I remember when FS17 came, uh, we also didn't have this uh, the stations. The only way to get your seed and fertilizer was by buying these pallets. But thankfully, uh, we had these mods. Now we do have them for FS19. Uh, and from the other side of the field, I'll, I'll start uh, uh, this time the seeding. I, s I uh, decided to go first with uh, barley because if I remember correctly from FS17, barley had the highest yield. Well, it has higher yield than wheat, I should say. And barley and wheat are important for us also because they produce uh, straw. Here, as you can see, there is a problem with the AI. It doesn't uh, uh, plant to the edge of the field. So I'll have to later do it manually. So I counted my money beans and decided that I, I'll, I'll have uh, enough resources to afford a truck. And my first use of my semi truck and my semi trailer will be to buy some, buy me some uh, pig food, because uh, we'll have to wait about two days in game days until we will have our first harvest, and I don't want to keep my pigs starving, so that's why I um, I bought my first batch of uh, pig food. If I remember correctly. Uh, last time when I checked, it was even worth to buy pig food uh, and then sell your pigs. So uh, yeah, there's all. The, this is always an option. If you don't have enough uh, food for your pigs, you know, don't be afraid to buy some from the market because it's it's really worth it. Um, my calculation showed. Um, you know, a, a ROI, a return on investment of 100%. So theoretically, if you invest 1000, 
euros uh, the game currency you'll get back 2000 by feeding your uh, bought pig food to your pigs and then selling the pigs obviously I'm hoping that while I'm playing on this map we will get some kind of uh, uh, you know animal processing facility meat processing facility butcher or whatever which will allow us uh, to have one additional step in our uh, animal business namely pig business so yeah as i said i had to take care manually of these patches left by the ai Uh, so I, I planted about uh, one half of the field with corn and then about one quarter with uh, barley and another quarter with soybeans. Uh, we'll see how much we'll get from this, uh, from this field so that next time we will know, you know more exactly uh, what percentage of the field should we use for each type of crop as for now <laughs> I really don't know a better a better tactic of uh, compacting my my grass in this case so uh, yeah I know that there used to be a mod for FS17 for some kind of rollers which increase the speed of compacting uh, Theoretically, there are these attachments, but you'll see it in a moment. They're made more for, uh, you know, moving your your stuff in in the silage pit, not as much for compacting. I probably should have used my John Deere tractor because it's it's the most powerful uh, from all the three tra tractors that I have right now. So yeah, this is what it does, basically what it used to, to do. And to be honest, I'm not that skilled into moving all this silage in the pit because for the last more than a year actually, I've been using only, um, you know, displaceable fermenters for making silage and uh, wrapping of bales. So yeah, as it turned out, that thing is only for moving around uh, the grass, but not uh, actually co compacted. So I'm basically driving back and forth. If you have any suggestion how to do this faster, then please let me know in the comments. And we are 100% in compacting, so I, now I can cover it. Um, it should take about a day, maybe two, until uh, it will be 100% fermented and I bought myself the third shed because I was already running out of space and this is just the beginning you know think about <laughs> how much space we're gonna need you know in 10 20 episodes Okay, this time I bought myself this skid to clean up the animals as we still don't have that table manor mod that we used to have for FS17. So basically we are obliged to clean our animals from time to time. And I decided to have a dedicated machine for it. Also, I think I'm, later I'm gonna buy myself a dedicated machine for moving pallets. The downside is that this skid is quite slow, 13 km kilometers only. But it's gonna do its job, obviously. 
and as we'll go higher in tiers uh, its bucket uh, volume also will get higher and higher I don't intend to buy any animals for now I think 20 of each uh, will be enough we'll, to multiply them Obviously, I don't have any horses. I still haven't figured out how, you know, the horse mechanic. I should maybe one day. Yeah, so today it's time to uh, refertilize my field because there is two fertilization states. The first one we got it when we seeded and planted because I was, uh, you know, careful enough to use one of those seeders and one of those planters which also fertilizes the stuff. I guess later the game will uh, oblige us to get uh, rid of the weeds. That's again, it's a new mechanic of this uh, version of the game. And you have options, obviously. If your plants aren't fully grown, you can use a weeder and not waste your money on um, I will, on, on weed spraying otherwise you have to spray your um, crop and this weed sprayer is quite expensive it's like it's like fertilizer uh, which may be which would not be a be a uh, you know a great deal when you're playing at the lowest difficulty but at the highest it's it start tapering your uh, incomes So yeah, I guess uh, shortly uh, we'll run out of time for this episode. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you have, just, al just as always, if you have any suggestion, then please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I hope uh, I'll see you all next time and I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.